If you're looking for ultimate team coins, then go check out ufifa.com and use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, again it's here bringing you another informed player review and today we are reviewing informed Danny Welbeck. Yes, that guy Welbeck. So there you go, there's the squad that I played him in. You know, a nice BPL squad mixed up right there with some overpowered players. And guys, if this video can get to 200 likes, to be amazing. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. So six foot one, high, high work rates, right footed, freestyle weak foot and freestyle skill moves. Set back around 130k, six games, 12 goals and three assists as well. Not a bad return if I may say so. So how does he compare to his regular card? You can see there that he's gone up by two overall. His pace has gone up by one. His dribbling, defending, passing and heading have all gone up by two. And his shooting seen the biggest increase going up by five overall. And that's reflected in the in-game stats. And what you'll see is, is that the attacking position, acceleration, agility, jumping, all in the 80s, as well as the sprint speed. So it's pretty good. Strength at 77 is not too bad as well. And when we come to skill attributes again, dribbling, finishing, heading, all in the 80s. Again, shot power in the 80s as well. So nothing like quite hit in the 90s, but solid, like decent stats in the 80s, which is pretty good. Can play as a striker, centre forward, or a left mid as well and not too bad in terms of lightweight and he's only got the engine speciality so what were my expectations of this card well we all know how overpowered his non-rare card is and you know if you're looking for a cheap bpl striker then that's the guy you go for however what makes him a good non-rare overpowered player doesn't necessarily translate very well to making an amazing inform card because you go for the cheap non-rare because he's good at all things he's got decent pace He's got decent in the air, decent strength, good at all things. He's an all-rounder, but however, for me, he doesn't tend to excel at anything. You know, he's not the quickest striker in the BPL. He's not the best finisher in the BPL. He's not the best in the air. He's not the strongest. He is a good all-round striker, but, you know, for me, those are the things that you've got to consider. You're now paying potentially up to 100k more than what he's worth in terms of his non-rare cards. That's a lot of money to be paying, especially for someone who doesn't have an amazing stat that they excel in but however this guy was good he's got fantastic movement that high attack and work rate he can finish when he gets in the right positions even though he has a free star weak foot and free star skill moves he's still effective decent strength as well decent in the air movement passing ability was good for me as well and of course you get him in the right positions and he will score for you however he's the kind of striker for me that needs more than one chance to score a goal i got in some positions that i would score like someone like remy would score like nine times out of ten However, this guy for me sometimes missed those chances and I'm a bit surprised with that. However, he's still a good all-round striker and if you're looking for a BPL informed player, then of course he might be your man. Is he worth the coins? Well, if he comes to around 50k or less, then yeah, I'd say so. So this review overall has got fantastic pace, decent movement with that high attack and work rate. He's great in the air as well. He's just a balanced all-round forward. He's got decent passing ability as well. That high defense work rate is going to be a pain, means he's going to be a little bit deep when you don't want him to be. He's not the most clinical of strikers as well, so if you're looking for a clinical striker, he's not going to be a man. There's also cheaper alternatives. I mean, Remy is a lot cheaper, and I think he's a better all-round player in terms of what he offers. However, you know, you're looking for that inform or an English striker, then he's your man. So overall, I give him 8.5 out of 10. A decent player to use, but maybe not as overpowered as I thought he might be. So that's for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.